Good day. In today's lesson, we will be dealing with the writing process. Now, why is writing a process? It is because when one writes, the ideas go through a series of changes or stages before the written text is finalized. It follows a step-by-step -step process. It is important for a writer to work through each of the steps in order to ensure that he or she has produced a polished and well-written text. We have here the stages or steps in writing. We have rewriting, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. Let's discuss this one by one. When we say per writing, it involves planning. Here, you'll choose your topic, determines the purpose for writing, and the intended audience, or for whom is the piece you are going to write. And of course, you'll gather the details for your topic. You can write the keywords or sentences for your text. Here, you will brainstorm, question, and free write everything that comes into your mind. To get ideas for pre-writing, you may browse through magazines, newspapers, and websites, brainstorm for ideas within a group, keep an article for future references, interview knowledgeable persons about your chosen topic, create a cluster map or concept map of main and supporting ideas, and jot down whatever comes to your mind about your selected topic. Next stage is drafting. In the drafting stage, the pre-writing notes and sentences are turned into paragraphs for the first draft. The draft has three important parts. We have the introduction, the body, and conclusion. The purpose of the introduction is not only to state the topic of the text, but it should also draw the reader into the piece of writing. It must be strong enough to grab the attention of the readers. Here, the writer must be able to introduce the topic. Let's say, for example, your chosen topic is the benefits of reading. Here, you may introduce what is meant by reading, so something like that. In the body, here you must be able to present details that elaborate and support the idea. You may use transitional devices for smooth transitions between paragraphs. Since your topic is the benefits of reading, here you may elaborate what are the benefits of reading. You state the reasons why people must read. And in the conclusion, uh, the last part of your draft, here you must be able to restate your main idea and summarize the most important concepts of your entire paragraph. You can leave a code, a Bible verse, or convince your readers by asking some questions, etc. So something that will leave an impression to your reader. Next stage is revising. Revising is going through the paper to see how well the issues of purpose, audience, and genre have been addressed. It also deals with checking if there are ways of improving the style, word choice, figurative language, or sentence variety. According to thinkwritten.com, revising is changing the meaning or way in which the reader perceives experiences and interprets it. Here, you add new thoughts or clarify existing thoughts. Uh, you choose more descriptive words, improving overall understanding of ideas presented, enhancing the character development, adding more detail, eliminating unnecessary elements, etc. These are all done to make the text stronger and improve clarity to the readers. Next is editing. How is it differ from revising? In editing, as defined again in thinkpresent.com, only the structure of writing is corrected. The text still remains the same. You are simply fixing mistakes you have made while writing it. It is a process of checking the accuracy of facts 
and correcting spelling, grammar, usage, and mechanics, including the punctuation and capitalization. So you have to check the subject verb agreement, pronoun, pronoun antecedent agreement, run on sentences and sentence fragments, usage of confusing word pairs, etc. So those are some of the minor changes that you will do in editing. So we have here proofreading marks that most of the writers use in editing. So as you can see, when you have to insert a text in your work, the text mark is like that. And also have written a mark in margin. We also have another. Actually, there are lots of this, but I have provided some. If you want to know more about it, you may search it on Google. And after all those uh, stages and steps in writing process, the last stage is publishing, which is producing a final copy of piece of writing and presenting it into an audience. There are lots of ideas wherein you can present your work. You may present it orally through a class report, speech or dramatic presentation. You may post it in a blog or any social media platforms. You may create a multimedia presentation or PowerPoint presentation or may publish it in a school paper, a local newspaper, or a literary magazine. So that's the end of my discussion for today. I hope you learned something. Thank you.